The problem that we want to solve is the many thousands of deaths every year that come from influenza, a disease that can be prevented through proper vaccination. Our solution to this problem has been the development of what we call a microneedle patch. So as far as the patient is concerned, it looks like a patch, like a band-aid or like a nicotine patch that can be applied to the skin and then removed. But closer examination shows it has microscopic needles on it, and that's what makes it work. That's what enables it to give a vaccine into the body. Normally vaccines don't just get absorbed in across the skin. The skin's a good barrier. But by having these microscopic needles that you don't see, that you don't feel, but nonetheless are long enough to get that vaccine into the skin, we now have a way to get vaccine into the body without a big hypodermic needle and do it in a way that patients should find to be acceptable, certainly painless. There are two benefits that we're really seeking to capture. And the first one is an immunological benefit. Right now, vaccines, most vaccines, including flu vaccine, are injected into the muscle. And that works, you get a good immune response from it, but in fact, the muscle is not really an immunological tissue. The skin is a much more immunological tissue. The, the body is designed to encounter pathogens first on its surface. So it's well known that you can get better immune responses if you put a vaccine into the skin. It's just hard to do. What the microneedle patch is enabling is vaccination in the skin, which can give a better immune response. And this has now engaged the vaccine community to think more seriously about skin immunology and, and ways to vaccinate in the skin that's going, that will be more effective because we now have tools available to vaccinate in the skin. Our second objective is to enable people to self-administer vaccines. And this is really a, a policy change that we hope this technology can enable. Today, there are no vaccines in the world that are administered by patients themselves. But certainly in the case of flu vaccination, self-administration could have a huge advantage. Every year, we're supposed to vaccinate more than 300 million Americans, let alone people all around the world. It's a huge burden on the medical infrastructure, and it just the job actually doesn't get done for a whole variety of reasons, but the majority of Americans do not get vaccinated every year. So why is that? Well, there's a host of reasons why Americans, many Americans don't do it. But one of the reasons is fear of needles. Another reason is just inconvenience. I, I didn't get around to it. So if we can get rid of the needle and just have a patch, we've addressed a problem that a, a reasonable fraction of people have with vaccination. And then if we enable people to self-administer, they could get a patch in the mail or pick it up in the pharmacy, leave it on for a few minutes and peel it off, we could capture additional people as well. The ultimate impact that we want to have is to save lives, that is to have people, more people become vaccinated against influenza and for that vaccine to be more effective.